Welcome back students. We were seeing the topic on control and coordination. So in last session we have seen about the control and coordination in plants. Now in this session we will see how coordination takes place in animals as well as in human beings. Okay. Now coordination in animals. You know the working together of various organs in an organism in a systematic manner so as to produce a proper response to the environment stimulus. This is nothing but the coordination. Okay, and it's uh, the proper response of uh, an organism to that is in control over the body, right? So now, animals too have this, you can say, special systems by which they control and coordinate their body. Okay, now the in higher uh, animals, uh, uh, not only higher animals, but you can say the multicellular animals. Uh, which are simpler, simpler multicellular animal example you can take off this is Hydra. They only have the nervous system and in the, this nervous system they have nerve cells. Okay, which coordinate and respond to the stimuli and coordinate there so that they can coordinate their activities. Okay, so the Hydra only has a nervous system. But you know, if you take uh, human, uh, take the example of human beings or other, you can say higher animals called vertebrates, they have hormonal system also, or you can call it also as endocrine system. Okay, so by the secretion of various hormones, they control and coordinate their body. So before studying about the control and coordination in human beings. We need to understand about the sense organs, receptors and effectors in our body. So let's start with the sense organs. Now the first sense organ is eyes. Eyes in our body through which we can see. We can detect the things or you can say we can detect the light from our eyes. The intensities of light, right? Again, next is the ears by which we can hear the sound and we have receptors which can detect the sound in our ears next comes the nose we can uh, you can say detect the odor you can smell the you can smell various things around you you can detect the odor of anything right next comes the skin now with the help of skin you can detect the touch, pressure, heat, pain etc. So you also have receptors in your skin which can detect the touch. You can detect how much cold uh, water is or how much hot the water is. Right. Next comes the tongue. Now in your tongue you have various taste buds. Right. With the taste buds you can detect various types of taste like uh, if a uh, substance or the food which you are eating is uh, mm, sweet or uh, sore like this okay so uh, tongue also has spe special receptors you can say which with which you can taste various things so students in this session we have seen about the sense organs in further session we will see about the receptors effectors in our body thank you